guys, I thought I would just do a quick video on hedgehogs because I have a little friend here to help me today. And look how cute that baby is. Look at that little face. How can you not love that? Hedgehogs in the UK are really endangered um, over the last few years. Look at that little face. Oh, um, The numbers have gone down a lot, so they really need our help. So if you see one out in the day, you should never ever see one in the day. Something is wrong if it's out in the day and it needs to be picked up and taken to a rescue place. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? So cute, look at that little nose. You're adorable, look at you. This little one was in our garden last night. We feed the hedgehogs every night. But this little one was so small that um, we picked him up and weighed him. Um, if you feed hedgehogs or if you see hedgehogs out day or night, pick them up and weigh them at this time of year, like around October, because they need to be at least 600 grams um, if they're going to survive their winter hibernation. So they need to be weighed and made sure that they're um, the right size. Oh, it's gorgeous. How can you not love that cute, cute little baby? Look at his little face. Oh. Um, this one will be going to a hedgehog rescue. Um, later today a lady called Joan at West Midlands Hedgehog Rescue or Hedgehog Sanctuary whichever one it is she um, rescues between five and 600 at least every single year she is an angel she's amazing she doesn't get any sleep ever people are ringing her up morning, noon, night she feeds little hoglets through the night when they need that every few hours she's amazing and she has some really good foster carers that once they're ready to go out into the wild, she has some that, um, sorry baby, that will start to foster them and then they'll go out into the wild when they're, they're ready. Um, so if you see a hedgehog, day or night, weigh them. If they're out in the day, something is wrong. They should never ever be out in the day, so please pick them up. Put them in a high-sided box and give them some cat food and some water in shallow dishes or a plate for the food. <laughs> this little one's off on the move. Um, they should never be out in the day usually that means something is wrong um, don't give them milk ever 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 I don't know where that came from but for some reason at some point people were giving them milk um, don't give them milk ever please um, just uh, cat food in jelly not gravy I don't know why don't give them fish flavours don't know why but just don't Give them more like chicken, poultry flavours in jelly and give them water. And they can have dried mealworms as well. They, they like those. Um, they can live two to five years. And apparently five years in little hedge piggle years is around 76 years old in human years. So even though it's like only a short time, it is a full life for them. And they leave their nest around three or four weeks old. And then they will uh, forage with their mom for around 10 days before they go off on their own. So this one is old enough to be off on its own, but it's still too small. Um, this one is only 340 grams and it should be 600 grams at least at this time of year to survive the hibernation period over winter. So he's really underweight. So if you ever find one and weigh them and they're less than 600 grams at around October time, please pick them up take them to a sanctuary as they're not going to survive the winter and then they can be fed up and released when they're the best weight for them um, they can roam one to two kilometres or kilometres every night so they do get a shift on, they, get, they can travel quite far um, looking for food so please don't use slug pellets because they rely on the slugs and the snails to survive and that's why there's so low numbers in the UK now because people are using slug pellets so they can't get enough food or it's poisoning the hedgehogs as well as the slugs and snails so please don't use them um, look at that little face how can you not love that little thing you are adorable aren't you he's come out of his little shell yeah he's going to bed in a minute we're just showing people how to look after you aren't we yes so we can get more of you to survive Yes, please don't ever give them milk. Give them water in a shallow dish and food on a little plate or in a shallow dish. Um, 
they can they can have uh, babies one or two times a year so this could be one of the newer babies the autumn hoglets um, so they can struggle to get up to weight for winter so um, if if you see them out and about even at night please pick them up and weigh them and if they're underweight they need to go to a sanctuary to be um what are you doing with that <laughs> got a weird little hedgehog toy um they need to go and be fed up so they can survive the winter um how to know if one is in trouble and needs help if they're out in the day ever pick them up then something's wrong if you see any open wounds obviously or flies around it um, if they're wobbly or rocking or unsteady on their feet, pick them up. Um, if you can see like breathing issues, if they're thin or look underweight, and if you pick them up and weigh them and they are underweight, they definitely need to be um, rescued. Are you on the move now? You've woken up. Yes. Look at this gorgeous baby. Um, put them in a high-sided box if you pick them up so they can't get out because they will try and jump out and get themselves into a bit of a tiz. So, um, yeah, if it, obviously if it looks like it's been poisoned or dehydrated or has any broken or fractured limbs, definitely needs picking up and helping. Um, they need to be at least 600 grams to survive the winter. So if they're not, they definitely need help. Always pick them up and weigh them if you can. Feed them cat food, kitten biscuits, dry cat food as well. Um, nothing with milk in because some of the kitten biscuits have got milk in for some reason. Um, nothing in gravy. You need to give them cat food in jelly, poultry flavours more than fish flavours. They can eat the beef ones too, but um, usually the poultry ones are safe enough. Um, and dried mealworms, they like those too. So please, please do all you can to help these gorgeous little babies to survive because they really are in need of our help now more than ever. I mean, how gorgeous is that? How can you not want to help that? Oh, I'm so in love with you. You're adorable. You are. Look at you. You're gorgeous. So I'm going to put him back in his little box now so he can have something to eat and go to sleep. And then we're going to take him over when we can get hold of the hedgehog lady and take him over to West Midlands Hedgehog Rescue where Joan will feed him up until he's big and fat and can survive in the wild on his own. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, please help them if you can. Um, remember 600 grams or more around October time to survive the winter. And, um, yeah, any time it's out in the day, something's wrong, pick it up. Take them to the vets if you can't find a hedgehog rescuer. Um, yeah. So I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you can... Start feeding them in your area. Oh, look at his little foot. Oh, so cute. Look at that little foot. Look at you. Oh. I'm going to go and put him back in his box now so he can get some sleep because he should be asleep in the day, obviously. I just wanted to show him to you so we could teach people how to look after them. Um, yes. <laughs> look at that. Gorgeous baby. So please do all you can to help them. They really need our help. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye.